Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 351 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. Today's granny square has got to be one of my favorites. It is so beautiful and we are doing different things today. Interestingly, uh, we are just always doing new stuff every single day, even down to the last few days. We are working with back post stitches here, cluster stitches, just all an eclectic amount and you can see here actually we are working these last two rounds this is a chain here and we are working our last round weaving in and out of these double crochet stitches it is so interesting and that's something new that we have not done this year so far so I really absolutely love this square this one is designed by Zelna over at Zooty Owl so make sure you follow along with her written pattern it has close-up photos of where you need to go where your stitches it is a great pattern it's called called um ten twenty square don't quote me on that because I probably pronounced it very wrong but it is an interesting square that is part of the seaside winter blanket crochet along so make sure you follow along with that we've done a lot of those squares uh, in this project as well um, throughout this year so make sure you check that out and uh, make all the squares as part of that seaside winter crochet along also, uh, in this square today, I'm using three different colors, but you can use as many colors as you want. This is Red Heart Super Saver Yarn. I think this um, gray color here is actually with love, but I just love using Red Heart Yarns in all 365 Days of Granny Squares project so that, you know, I can keep them consistent and it's just easy to use. And you don't really need scraps in this project. You're not going to need a whole lot of yarn. I'm also going to use an H size crochet hook, and uh, today I'm using a new hook. This one is an ergonomic um, handmade hook that I got on the Etsy shop would be fancy this is such an awesome hook to use and you can hold it and not have to deal with just a small tiny um, metal hook these are the regular hooks that I use every day but then they are actually fixed in there and you can't you know pull it out or anything it's fixed in there and it's a really nice ergonomic very comfortable fit um, to use these handles so if you want to get your own get like me you can definitely check out the link in the description of this video for the shop would be fancy on Etsy and get your own these are, are so fabulous and a lot of fun to use and add them to your collection and you know they fit around your hand whether you hold your hook like this or like this it really is um, easy to use in any which way so they're really nice hooks so I got I'm using a new hook today I usually use my purple age hook but this is an age size crochet hook it is five millimeters um, but you can use um, and G hook to make yours smaller because today's granny square turned out to be a little bit larger. Let's measure this baby. It is 20 centimeters, which turned out to be eight inches in width and length. So make sure if you wanted to, you can use a G hook, which is four millimeters if you wanted to. But I'm using that H hook. And then you're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew in your ends, especially if you're changing color as often as I do, which is every single round. And this is nine rounds of a project today. So uh, good luck and I hope you enjoy this. But before we begin, there are other links in the description of this video so not only is there that link to the written pattern by Zelna but there's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram and I would absolutely love if you shared your photo today please 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 because these are so beautiful and I just want to see your creations and really challenge yourself today because this one was a uh, um, quite interesting and very intricate so I really hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, you know share your photos on the Facebook and Instagram and hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your squares online and you can also Snapchat me. I'm Yarn Utopia on Snapchat, so make sure you snap me whatever is on your hook, whether it's this or some other crochet project, make sure to Snapchat me. And I have to say a really big thank you to my dad, Fouad Azmet, for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are so, we have so many followers. You guys are so awesome, and I love crocheting with you every single day. So subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can get that update on when my dad posts our next video video. So now let's get started and make number 351 granny square. Alright, let's start out with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull this through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, 
and four. And then we're gonna go all the way to the first chain way over here, go in for a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, and that creates a nice ring just like that. So now we can go on to round one. We are going to chain up two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And that's going to count as our first half double crochet of this round. And now into the ring, we are going to put 15 half double crochets into this ring here. So yarn over, go into that ring, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's two. This is three. Here's four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oops. And nine. You can scoot these over if you need to make room. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, two more here, 14, and 15. Awesome. Then if you need to count back all the way around, there should be 16 stitches in total with this chain up two counting as a stitch. So we're going to slip stitch into that chain up two right there. So go into this front loop right there and then into this back loop here, yarn over, pull through and pull through, pull tight. And there's round one. I'm gonna pull that straggler in the middle there so it kind of closes up that center there. Okay, so now going on to round two, if you are not changing color, uh, just chain up three and go on to round two. But I'm actually going to chain one and cut this yarn, pull that through and then pull that tight. And then I'm going to insert my hook. You can start in any stitch around. So I'm just gonna go right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, that chain up two there. And I'm gonna grab a new color. Hook that on the hook and pull it through. And then chain up three. One, two, and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. And we're also going to double crochet into the same stitch that we attached to. So yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that is a double crochet. Now we are going to chain two, one and two. We are going to skip this very next stitch right here and we're gonna put two double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over, skip that one, go into this one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're just going to repeat that around. So chain two, one, two, skip a stitch, and then put two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. Then chain two, one, two, and skip the, ne the next stitch, and then put two double crochets into the next stitch. Okay, so do that all the way around, and then I will meet you up for round three. All right, finishing round two, don't forget to chain that last two and skip this last stitch and then slip stitch to this chain up three right in here. Just go in, let's see here, go in the front loop and the back loop. There we go. Yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, now if you're not changing color and going on to round three, slip stitch into this next stitch and into this chain two space and then chain up two and go on to round three. But I'm gonna chain one here and cut this yarn, 
pull that through and pull it tight. I'm going to insert my hook into a chain two space and pick up my next yarn and then pull that through. Okay, and then we go, are going to chain up two. So one and two. Okay, and that's going to count as our first half double crochet. And in the same space, we are going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so now it actually looks like there's three half double crochets in that chain two space because that first chain two counts as a stitch. Now we are going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're gonna hop into the next chain two space here and we're gonna put three half double crochets in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's one, this is two, and three. Okay, and we're just going to repeat that around. So chain three, one, two, and three. Hop into the next chain two space and put three half double crochets in there. So one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm just going to do that all the way around and then I will meet you up for round four. All right, just finishing this round, gotta chain my last three and then skip over these stitches and slip stitch to this beginning chain up two right here. Just go in. Okay, and then yarn over and pull through. Whoops. And pull through. There we go. Now in this next round, if you're not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and into this chain three space and then chain up through two, sorry, chain up two and go on to round four. But I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull that through and pull it tight, insert my hook into a chain three space and pick up my other yarn and pull that through and then chain up two. One and two. And that's gonna count as our first half double crochet in this round. And now in the same space, we are going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's one, here's two, and three. And in that same space here, let's see, let me get that done here. In that same space, we are going to put another half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So essentially it looks like there's a half double crochet, three double crochets, and a half double crochet all in that chain three space. Now what we're going to do is chain one, and we're gonna skip this first half double crochet here, and we're gonna slip stitch into the middle half double crochet right here. So go in, yarn over and pull through, and pull through, just like that. And then we're gonna chain one, and then in this next chain three space, we're going to put a half double crochet, then we're going to put three double crochets, one, two, and three, and then another half double crochet in there. Just like that, and then repeat. So chain one, go into the middle half double crochet of this three half double crochet grouping and put a slip stitch in there. Okay, then chain one, and then repeat. So half double crochet, three double crochet and half double crochet all in this chain three space. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for the next round. All right, just finishing this round here, you gotta slip stitch into this stitch and then chain one and then slip stitch to the first chain up two of this round. Okay, so right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. 
There we go. Now, if you are not changing color, you can slip stitch into this uh, double crochet stitch right here and then chain up two and go on to round five. But I'm actually gonna chain one and cut this yarn, of course, change the color, so pull that through. If you're changing color, you can start in any first double crochet of a petal, so the second stitch of any petal. Okay, so the first double crochet there. And I'm going to hook on my other yarn and pull that through. And then we're going to chain up two. One and two. And that's gonna count as our first half double crochet of this round. And we're gonna half double crochet in the next two stitches. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And the next stitch, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna hop all the way to the next petal here. And we're going to half double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches. So yarn over, skip this half double crochet, go into this double crochet, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And the next stitch, half double crochet. And then just repeat, so chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then hop to the next petal, and we're going to half double crochet in each one of the double crochets in there. Okay, so just repeat that all the way around, and then I can meet you up for the next round. All right, just finishing this round here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch to this beginning chain up two right in here. Just go in, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. Now, if you are not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and then into this chain six space, and then chain up two and go on to round six. I'm going to change color, of course. So I'm gonna chain one, cut that, pull it through and pull tight, and then insert my hook into the chain six space and hook on my other yarn, and then chain up two one and two. And that's going to count as our first half double crochet of this round. And in the same chain six space, we are going to put nine half double crochets in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's one, here's two, here's three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. And essentially it'll be 10 stitches because this chain up two counts as a stitch. And then what we're going to do is skip this first uh, half double crochet right here, and we're gonna single crochet in the middle half double crochet right here. So go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then we're going to put 10 half double crochets in this next chain six space. So you can skip over this half double crochet right here and just put 10 half double crochets in the next chain six space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and then single crochet in the middle half double crochet right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, and then just repeat. So 10 half double crochets in the chain, in the chain six space, and then single crochet in the middle half double crochet, and just repeat that around. So I'll meet you up for the next round. To finish this round, I single crocheted in there uh, in that middle half double crochet, skip that last one, and just slip stitch to this chain up two right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. 
and now if you are not well regardless if you're changing color or not you're gonna have to fasten off here because we're gonna do back post stitches now so chain one cut that pull it through pull tight and we are going to start in a first half double crochet of any 10 um or I'm sorry, half double crochet, first half double crochet of any 10 half double crochet grouping. So go from this side of the first one around it like this from the back, okay? So we're gonna start in the back here and I'm grabbing my other yarn, hooking that on and pulling it around it and through and then chain up one. And around that same one, we are going to go from the back, okay? around it, okay, that's the first half double crochet of a 10 half double crochet grouping. Then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a back post single crochet. So we're gonna do that on each of these next nine half double crochets here. So each of, well, all 10 of them, but that we already did one. So go from this side behind this next one, okay, around it, to back to the back here. There we go. Then yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, next one, go from behind it, around it, and yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's three. This is four. And five. Here's six. And seven and eight, nine and ten. So each half double crochet gets a back post single crochet. Okay, just like that. So you can kind of see that as a really interesting design. Okay, then what we're going to do, let's see here, is chain one. So yarn over and pull through one, skip over this uh, single crochet here, and back post single crochet around the next 10 stitches. So each of these next 10 half double crochets gets a back post single crochet also. Oops, there we go. Oh, that one didn't work out. Okay, so we have to go from behind it, around it, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two. Behind, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's three. Here's four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine and ten and now instead of chaining one we're actually going to chain four one two three and four then we're going to skip over this single crochet and we're going to back post single crochet around the next ten and then just repeat so then chain one back post single crochet around the next 10, and then chain four. This part um, is making the square shape of our granny square. So I am just going to repeat that. So after this, these 10 back post single crochets, I'm going to chain one, and then back post single crochet around the next 10 half double crochets. And then I'm gonna chain four for the next corner. So you should have four chain four spaces at the end of this round and if you need to you can follow along with the written pattern or just repeat what we have been doing uh, in this video so you can rewind this to see what we're doing on this round but I am going to finish this round and then I will meet you up for the next round all right finishing this round you want to chain four and then slip stitch to the first back post single crochet of this round. So right in here, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now, uh, regardless if you're changing color or not, we're going to have to fasten off. So chain one, cut that, 
pull it through and pull tight. We're going to start in a chain four space. So right into this corner, go in, hook on your yarn. Okay. And now we're going to chain up three. So yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And in that same chain four space, we are going to make our series of stitches here. We're going to first start off with a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into that chain four space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. So that chain up three and that treble crochet actually counts as a treble crochet cluster or a treble crochet two together. And now we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to make a treble crochet two together. So yarn over twice, go into that chain four space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over, oh, just kidding, don't, don't yarn over and pull through those last two loops. We're going to yarn over twice again, and go back in, yarn over and then pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through those three loops. And that is a treble crochet two together. Then we're going to end up chaining three for the corner. One, two, and three. And we're going to make another treble crochet two together in here. So yarn over twice, go in, to that chain four space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, but hold those two loops on your hook, yarn over twice again, go back down into the chain four space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook. And now we need to chain two, one and two, and make another treble crochet two together in that same chain four space. So yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so there's our corner stitches. See, you can see the shape. Awesome. Then what we're going to do is skip four stitches. So four of these single crochets here, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna skip those ones and we're gonna go into this next one here for a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to chain 10. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to skip t uh, five stitches on this side here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna skip over this chain one space here. And we're gonna skip five stitches on this side too. One, two, three, four, five. Go into this next stitch right here, okay? And if you need to count four, there should be four stitches left here. One, two, three, four to the corner, chain four space, okay? So the one right there, we're going to single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Just like that, okay? Then we're going to hop into the chain four corner space, and we are going to treble crochet two together. So you know how to do that, yarn over twice, and make partial of your first treble, then yarn over twice again and make partial of your next treble, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then chain two, one, two, and then put a treble crochet two together again in that same place, and then chain three, one, two, three, then treble crochet two together again, one and two, okay, then chain two, one, two, and then treble crochet two together again, 
and that's going to be in every corner, okay? And now we're going to repeat what we did on this whole side between this corner, okay, to this corner. So we're going to skip four stitches here, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next stitch, then chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip five stitches on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over this chain one space and skip five stitches on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And go into the next stitch. Hopefully you have four stitches left until the corner. One, two, three, four. And you do, because there's the chain four corner space. We're going to single crochet here. And then we're going to hop into the corner for our corner stitches. So it's two treble crochets together, then chain two, then two treble crochets together, then chain three, then two treble crochets together, and then chain two, and then two more treble crochets together. So just continue doing that. Um, if you need to, um, you know, you can obviously rewind this video to see what I'm doing in the corners and for each side, or you can follow along with that written pattern. But I'm going to finish this round and then I'll meet you up for the next round. When you come back around and make that last single crochet after your chain 10 space here, we're going to skip these last four stitches and slip stitch to the first treble crochet, okay? So not the chain of three, but go into the cluster or the, the treble crochet stitch itself. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and then pull that tight, okay? And now this next round, we are going to start in a corner chain three space. So I'm just going to fasten this color off. So chain one, cut that, pull it through, pull tight, and I'm going to insert my hook into the chain three corner space, and then I'm going to hook on my other yarn and pull that through. And then for this next round, we are going to chain up three, one, two and three and that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round and in the same space we are going to put two double crochets so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's our double crochets so this whole round is all double crochets so again yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then we're going to chain three one two and three and put three more double crochets in that same chain three space to finish off our corner here so one two and three now we are going to put two double crochets in the chain two space right here so one and two and then we're going to put two double crochets in the space between these stitches here. So before the single crochet right here, you can see this gap right here. We're going to put two double crochets in there. So one and two. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold this chain in the front of our work. Okay, we're going to work behind it for a second here. We're going to double crochet in this next free single crochet right here from the previous round. So yarn over, go into this uh, single crochet, this back post single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to take this chain space here and move it back, and we're going to work in front of it, double crocheting into the next stitch. Okay. So this chain 10 is actually going to be woven in between these stitches here. So move it forward and double crochet into the next stitch like so. Then move it backward and double crochet into the next stitch. Then move it forward and double crochet into the next stitch. And then move it back and double crochet in this chain one space here. Then move it forward, double crochet into the next stitch, then move it back, 
and double crochet into the next stitch and then move it forward and double crochet into the next stitch and then move it back and double crochet into the next stitch okay so we moved it back and forth about 10 times let's count here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're at the single crochet here. So we are going to put two double crochets in between these two stitches in this gap right here. So two double crochets in there. One and two. And then in this chain two space right here, we're going to put two double crochets in there. One and two. And then in the corner, chain three space, we're going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Then chain three, one, two, three. And then three more double crochets in that same space. And then we're going to repeat what we did on the side. Okay, all along this side here. We're going to repeat from after the corner here. So in the chain two space, we have two double crochets in the gap here before the single crochet, we have two double crochets, and then we are weaving in and out of this chain 10 space, putting a double crochet in each one of those 10 stitches. So let me show you again here real fast. Just putting two double crochets in, oops, well, when you go fast, you make mistakes. <laughs> so two double crochets in this chain two space then two double crochets right before this single crochet okay and now we are going to move this um forward i just want to make sure yep forward I'm working behind the chain 10 first going into the stitch that's free just like that then we're moving it back and double crocheting in the next stitch and then moving it forward and double crocheting in the next stitch then moving it back and double crocheting in the next, then moving it forward, and double crochet in the next, moving it back, double crochet in the chain one space, moving it forward, double crochet in the next stitch. Let me count how many that is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have three more here. Double crochet in here. Move it forward. Double crochet in there. Move it back. And double crochet in here. Okay, there should be 10. I'm not sure why I'm coming up with 11. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you may have another one here, if you want to add another one, totally up to you. If you have an extra stitch, I'm not quite sure why I do, but there. Then we're going to skip over the single crochet, put two double crochets in that gap there. Then two double crochets in the next chain two space. And then in the corner here, put three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet. So just repeat what I did exactly, and then I will uh, meet you up at the end of this round. Okay, so I figured out why I had an extra stitch um, doing this weaving in and out of this ch t chain 10 space is because there's five stitches here, and then there's a chain one space, and then there's five stitches here. So I've been working in the chain one space. So if you wanted to skip the chain one space and weave your stitching in and out of working just in the single crochets and skipping the chain one space, um, that's probably what the written pattern was telling me to do and I didn't do that, sorry. <laughs> so just weave it in and out and if you want to do just the 10 stitches, otherwise if you wanted to put a double crochet in the chain one space, I don't think it could hurt anything. It still is a really pretty design. So um, I'm just going to, since I have been working in the chain one spaces, I'm going to work in the chain one space here. And then we're going to work in each of the five stitches before that chain one space and after that chain one space. So I'm actually going to have 11 stitches then and you may have 10. So um, that's how I figured it out. 
<laughs> my math was a little off and knowing there's that chain one space makes sense. So I'm just going to do that all the way around and then I will meet you up at the end of round nine. When you come back around, slip stitch to this chain up three right in here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And then we can fasten off, our square is done. So chain one, cut that, pull it through and pull tight. Grab your yarn needle, sew in that end. Sew in all your ends as you go or when you finish a square just so that you can, or you don't have to do it at the end of your big project whatever you're making and there it is number 351 granny square is done it is beautiful big thank you to zelna over at zooty owl for allowing us to use this fabulous square in our project make sure you're checking out that written pattern and sharing your photos now that you're done share your photo on the facebook and on instagram and hashtag yarn utopia and hashtag 365 days of granny squares so i can see your beautiful squares today can't wait I will see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!